हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक नाउ सो वी ऑल नो व्हेन एवर वी विल डबल क्लिक ऑन द फर्स्ट एएलवी ग्रिड दिस इवेंट हैंडलर मेथड विल एग्जीक्यूट एंड वी विल राइट द लॉजिक इन दिस इवेंट हैंडलर मेथड to achieve our requirement so whenever you are double clicking whenever you are double clicking we have to get a row on which you are double clicking it means we have to get the row on which you are double clicking if i will show you this class CLGUI ALB grid. Here we have a method. Get selected rows. I'll just go to next. We have a method get selected rows. We will use this method to get the row which is selected. Suppose. user double click on this row then we will get this row if user double click on this row we will get this row so first thing we write a logic or we will write a logic to get the selected rows how to get the selected rows i will call the method get selected rows i'll go to pattern a bab object patterns so what is the object of our alv first alv grid alv1 clgui alv grid and we will use the method get selected rows it means we are getting the selected rows of the first alv grid now i will uncomment this importing we will only only write a logic to get the index of the selected row so i will uncomment this this is not required i will remove this i will declare one internal table in front of et index rows lt rows will have the same type as that of et index rows so what will be the type of et index rows how i can check i will double click et index rows is of this type so i will double i'll copy this type and i will declare a internal table in my program type table type it is a table type table type it means lt underscore rows is a internal table i will declare work area type i will pass the name of my structure because work area type structure in this table type we have this structure and structure has two columns so i declared a work area type structure we'll see this in debugging mode and then we will proceed how to write a logic i'll put a breakpoint in this event handler method it will help us to write the logic suppose i am clicking on this record if you see the index of the record first to second third Fourth, fifth, six. It means I am clicking on sixth index row. If I am double clicking, 
my event handler method triggered if i am executing this method get selected rows you can see in this internal table we got the index 6 suppose i am double clicking on this record this is what is the index of this record 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I will double click and I will execute this method, you can see index is 12. It means in this internal table, we are getting the index of the selected row. This is our data. This is our data. This is our data. And we got the index. We got the index. Suppose this time it is 12. Previously it was 8. So it means whatever the index I have with the help of that index, I can get the row from this particular internal table. Yes. Now we will see how to write a code. So I'll just open the session in the debugging mode so that it will be easy for us to write the code. Best way is I'll just open this in debugging mode and we will write the logic. It will make our task easy to get a code. I will double click. F6. In this internal table, we have the index of the selected row. In another session, we will proceed with our logic part so that there will not be any confusion. We will read this internal table. Read table lt underscore rows into ls underscore rows index but i am reading this internal table on index one it means this record will go into this work area i am writing if psi sub rc equals to zero and if now this work area has this record what is the work area row type blank what is work area index it will be six in this case and we want this value we want this value because based upon this we will get our row from this VBAK will get our row from this VBAK. So, how I will write read table LT underscore VBAK into LS underscore VBAK index. You want to read this internal table on which index now? On which index? this this index this index and this index you moved it to where you moved it to work area you moved it to work area so how i will write index ls rows hyphen what is the variable name index now i will write if size sub rc equals to z so whenever we will read this internal table read this internal table on suppose in this example six index so this record will go to which work area this record will go to work area ls underscore bpak what is ls vbak vbeln this this if we have the vbeln 
can we fetch data from VBAP table based upon that? Yes, we can fetch. This part will continue in the next video. Thank you.